Hey everybody, I'm Cheryl Swift, Duchess of Rock and Roll. I'm here tonight in Riverton, Illinois with Josh Morningstar. How are you? I am wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Sunset was beautiful for y'all driving in. It was, and I, you know what? I saw a very uh, beautiful sunset this morning over Omaha. Took a pic. I'll show them to you later. Took yes. a pictures, but because yeah. you started out today in Nebraska, am I correct? That is correct. Yes, ma'am. I heard you hung out with my buddy Troy for Troy, a little bit. Troy is one of my most favorite people. In the Me world. too, yeah. Troy. You're the man. Troy. Trish. Trish. Tish. 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 It's a very, we know the truth, but yeah. we're all tired and the sun is set and it's getting chilly. Yeah. So, uh, you're currently on tour. I like your tour bus. It's homey. Thank you. Uh, it was given to us free of charge by a dear friend of ours. And oh, really? Greg, my steel guitarist uh, slash utility man, has lived like eight different lives. He was a race car driver into a trucking company. He fucking... Everything. Oh, yeah. He really, he's like... I don't know, whatever. Greg's anyway, here. Hi, yeah. Greg. How hey, are Greg. you, buddy? Where the hell was I going with that? Uh, <laughs> let's see. This morning, drive oh, of right. uh, yeah. the Mel Melody, right, is her name? That's right. And Greg got it all working is where I was going nice. with that. So Greg's a mechanic, too? Greg's everything. You Greg is everything. Yeah. Everybody needs a good um, utility man, a good amener. I think I'm a good amener. Um, I couldn't fix anything, but I'll work stuff out to get somebody to fix it. You need it. That's, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I, I say on stage, I say, Greg, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with him, but I don't know what I would do without him. And that's right. A lot of steel He's players, awesome. like, that's how people talk about them. I have noticed this in life. Yeah. Hey, uh, how do you make steel guitar sound good? Put somebody who knows what they're doing behind them. So, yeah, that's oh. better than mine. I was going to tell a joke that was meant for a banjo, but <laughs> as I'm saying this, I realize how much I love the steel guitar. Right, and you can't, you know right, you I, can't yeah, even. I couldn't do it. You can't, you do, can't it. do it. So, oh, my yeah. God, you're so funny. So... So you're kind of this phenomenon here in the last couple months. <laughs> All of a sudden, Josh Easy Morningstar, turn. Josh Morningstar, every morning, every morning I have coffee, and now I want to smoke a cigarette every now and again because you smoke so passionately on film. You hear that Newport? Newport <gasps> Menthol Blue is my brand of cigarette. Jeez. I've never see seen someone smoke so passionately hey, as you. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a I'm like there with my coffee and... Like, um, I don't smoke, so I it's just a, watch you do it. Man, it's a horrible, <laughs> filthy habit, and I wish I didn't, but I can't stop. They got me. You they win, Larry. You. You, you win. You win. So, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is your story. I know you have an interesting backstory and in how you got here today, and some things happened along the way, and I think you're a very interesting creature of, uh, of redemption and grace. And so, oh, I was wondering if you'd talk you. a little bit about how you got to today. Sure. Uh, you know, it's funny. You say here in the last few months, you used the word phenomenon. I'm not going to say that. I'm okay, but I say, can. Yeah, I can. I, I'm just going to say. Well, you're humble. Well, I like that about you. You know, when uh, when you think back and remember having to pick up cigarette butts to smoke them because mm -hmm. you didn't have to, you'd rather spend your money on dope than cigarettes. Mm -hmm. That shit humbles you pretty damn quick. You right. know what I mean? I get it. It's, it's all perspective. But anyway, you say uh, over the last few months and. I'll say people, more people have started finding out about who I am, but I've been at this for a very, very, very long time. Uh, started, I mean, we can, how far back you want to go? You can start wherever you oh, want. Oh, hell, man. Well, I'll give you the brief overview okay. up to a certain point. Okay. I uh, started in the choir when I was four, got my first guitar and wrote my first song when I was nine. It's called School, I Don't Like It. It's the funniest fucking thing in the world. Yes! School, I don't like School, it. School, I don't like it. Anyway. Yes. Uh, so, there was that. Growing up, uh, a lot of people in my family were alcoholics. Uh, mm. So, I, saw, I always saw that and told myself, you're not going to be that. You know right. I mean? Later on down the line, we'll get there. But uh, I had a kid, real young age, and got married at a real young age. Wasn't uh, wasn't any kind of husband. Uh her young kid and the group I was with at the time we we didn't tour the whole country but we toured regionally up and down the east coast right still going a lot and as a stupid kid you did you know what I mean rock star life I get rock, it yep you get it there you I go. get it I've been to that I've yeah. been to that mountain especially stupid kid you know yeah yeah when you're younger you don't think about consequences quite as much yeah so uh started so I used to do hip-hop is a lot of guys in this scene come from rising a lot of the guys, oh, I'm nasty. No, 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 no. <laughs> But uh, a lot of the guys in this used to play metal, you know what I mean? Right. 
I know and a few of those. I, I played in rock bands and all that too, but uh, I was real. As I was growing up, hip hop was growing up. You know what I mean? I, so hip hop, metal, running the rock lifestyle, doing all young that wife, shit, yeah. young kid. And then I got into uh, heroin. <laughs> then I got real, real deep into heroin. That was my thing. And uh, I got clean in October 2011. And right around the time I got clean, I met my angel, my wife Tess. Uh, she's a incredible uh so i met her and she's always been she's so supportive and i wouldn't be able to do what i do if it weren't for tests uh but anyway so i get off dope and i start writing songs from a place that i wasn't used to you know what i mean i'd always written country the reason i told you i did hip-hop i'd always written country songs got it okay even when i was doing hip-hop i put out a record in oh Four, oh three or oh four, called contradiction, and half of it was country, and the other half was <laughs> like yes. So I've always had this love, but once I got clean, uh, and obviously when when you're a junkie, there's jail and there's all kinds of horrible, horrible shit that you do to maintain what you want your addiction, yeah. right? You, you're, if you're lucky enough to come out of that, and you're smart, and you try, and I'm not saying I'm smart because I'm an idiot, I really am. It took a couple times before it finally stuck. But when you realize, you, when you can learn from what you've been through, and that's, luckily I was lucky enough to do that. And I started writing songs from a totally different place. And over the last six years, I've, I've steadily toured the country. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, this, we put out a new record, and it's been doing real great for us. And uh, I'm just so grateful, man. So yes. Grateful. Now, you have, how many children do you have? Four. Four. I know there's a little guy that comes in in the morning sometimes oh, yeah. and wants to say good morning to everybody. He's That's super, my buddy. super cute. We just got him a dog today. That's Surprise, there's a puppy dog coming well, by, home. By the time he sees us. Right, yeah, this has to be yeah. edited and stuff. It'll uh-huh. be a few days. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Surprise, um, honey. Yeah. But, yep, got him a dog. He's awesome. So 16. 16. My daughter's 16. Okay. My oldest son's 15. My middle son is 14, and then there's Jace. He'll be five next oh, week. Oh, that's a little dude who bops in in the morning. That's him. One week from today, actually. Next Sunday, he'll be five. Oh, well, he's super cute. I'm always like, oh, here comes the little dude. You know, he'll come in there and sing. Uh, he gets up on stage with us when any time he's Aww. at the show. He'll get up and sing. He, he, I saw the light. Is Oh, that's, that's his tune. That's, yeah, but uh, sorry. No, you're good. Melody, okay. he'll do. Dan these birds, he'll do. Uh, he's... He's awesome. They're all awesome kids. I've been very blessed. Yes, family first, right? Always. 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 A couple weeks ago, Josh and I had an interview set up, and my daughter had to be hospitalized, and I was trying every method possible to get a hold of him. And finally, some angel lady called me back, and um, and then, you know, we were able to set this up today because I actually had a free day, so I came up here to Riverton to interview you because I had seen you at Tumbleweed, this festival that we went to last summer, I didn't know who you were, and I was like, does anybody know who that man is? Like, you have this intriguing energy about you. But I didn't quite know who you were, so I didn't want to walk over and look like an idiot. And then I got to meet you at the Ryman, officially, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, Even though I'd been listening to your music and trying to figure out about who you were and what you were up to. One of the things that I appreciate you, and you can speak to this a little bit, I think that, like, for me, my story is different but similar, like, when you get to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like, the, um, my daughter almost died when she was six months old, and I met God on the floor of a hospital. And I think that once you reach the lowest of lows, like, I don't know what that was for you, but for me, it was the day I felt my face hit the floor of a public bathroom. You don't really know me, but that is not something that I would ever do on purpose. And so, when I see you in the morning, and you're full of hope and life and light, is how I see you. Well, yeah. I can see that you're trying to be who you were meant to be now, having been to whatever floor you were on. Well, I really appreciate that. Just uh, you saying that. The world's a shitty place. Yes. The world's a shitty place. And uh, I know there's a lot of great people out there. And I have been given some sort of a platform however small it may be to bring good people together and it's it's a heavy feeling to be that 
yes. conduit. You know what I mean? I do. It's, it's, it means it's not something I take lightly at all. Right. Uh, if, it means a lot to me that I can be a light in somebody's head. I mean, yes. what, what, what better gift can you give to somebody? I don't really think. I think being present to another human being is something we're, everybody's getting worse at. And I try to, I've been trying to start getting better at. And I can see that in you. Uh -huh. And that's one of the reasons I'm drawn to you is that you have this authenticity about your being. Even if, I mean, you can be tough. Do you know? Like, you'll stand up for yourself, for <laughs> oh, people. Yeah. for And I, I appreciate that about you. You're like a... Like a sweet badass. Like I don't really know how else. <laughs> That's all. You're like I'm sweet, but don't mess with my kid, my wife, my yeah, friends. You I know, have, I have buttons. I'm, I'm right. a work in progress, just and like so anybody. I appreciate that about you, and that's one of the reasons I'm drawn to you and your music. Is there's this? Um, I just think that when people have been t been on the floor and gotten back up, you you know, I can sense that, feel that, and it comes out in your music and the way you treat other human beings. And I. I just really appreciate that about you. I, I don't feel that way about all artists. There's a few artists that um, settle with me in that way. And I just want to do everything I can to love on them, promote them, and talk about them. Because as I was telling one of your friends, you know, I don't get paid to do this blog. This is my choice. I, I go to the people that I feel, you know, I want to promote. I mean, if someone's a tool, I'm never going <laughs> to interview them. It's really a simple formula. And so I appreciate that about you. Well, I hope you know how much I appreciate you. I don't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> that's I'm okay. Sorry, you can interrupt me. But that means the world to me. And I appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks. Very You're much. welcome. So the other thing I wanted to talk about off the heavy subject, and I'm very proud of you for um, getting cleaned up too, because that's a huge yeah. deal. You, uh, it got to a point, and I literally woke up one morning and told myself, uh, I'm either going to overdose and die today, or I'm, gonna, I'm never going to do it again. And I don't know why. Uh, why it's stuck this time like I've been to rehab several times before and would get out and be clean for X amount of months and then uh, something and then, yep and I need to I need to verify I say I'm clean you'll never hear me say I'm sober I smoke marijuana because it works for me I don't, would never recommend it to anyone but it works for me and my mental issues helps even me out and uh, when I'm on stage I'll have a drink I had a lady come to me one night and tell me how disappointed she was in me because I stood up there the whole time saying I was sober and here oh. I am drinking and that kind of we talked about them buttons that's yes, kind of that's a button I do not say I'm sober I'm not sober but at one point in my life I was shoving two grams of heroin and threw a needle in my arm every day so fuck you lady you know what I mean right we all have our demons and how we, I was at a party the other night and I won't say what was said but this guy got I got triggered mm-hmm and I was like, you may not speak that way in front of me. And he didn't know what to do. And I'm like, no, you cannot say that word. And then he tried to be funny and do it again. I was like, we going to go. Because, mm -hmm. you know, my fight inside will come out. We because there's certain things. If someone is is willing to say to you, you know, like, could you not do that? Or the lady could have said to you, I might be confused. Mm -hmm. Could you explain to me? Yeah. Then you could have said it. But she's judging, totally throwing different. stones, yeah, right. and not asking you. You're like... You're like, this This joint might keep me from snapping. Yes, ma'am. And I'm not pushing heroin, so you need to step off because it's really not your business. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I was using a drug to hide right. and, and mask feelings and deal with pain right. and emotions I didn't want to deal with. So, obviously, I'm not right in my head. And that's why I don't... Are any of us, though? Well, you're okay, touche. I'm just saying. But, uh, but that's why pot works for me. And, but because pot works for me and because I smoke pot, that's also why I don't say I'm sober. I don't right, want to I put any it. false pretenses right. out there to anyone. I'm very honest about right. who and what I am and what I do. Uh, well, I see I like that about you, too, because um, there's a lot of posers in the world, and I'm over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> Bye, posers. Real recognize real, yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the best part. I was like, what are you talking about? Um, okay. From that, oh, let's shit. talk about Merle for oh, a minute. How long? For a minute? Only Listen, minute. All right. I love that man. Mm -hmm. The day he died, I know you have that song. Mm. And that was when I was like, whoa. I cried so hard, my face blistered. Wow. People were calling me from Nashville to make sure I was okay. I'm like, I'm not okay. That's a beautiful thing, though, to love some, to, for some person's music to have that effect on you. Wow, what a beautiful thing. Because, you know, you would look at me and not think I loved Merle Haggard. Oh, but I don't know about that. I'm I, just saying. Yeah. I loved that man. And, um, you know, 
I love it when people love Merle, and I love that you wrote a song about it. I'm a huge Merle Haggard fan. Like, people, I mean, everybody obviously has their favorite artists, uh, but there's maybe four artists off the top of my head, five if you want to count Cash, that could be considered greatest country artists of all time. Yep. And I don't think it it can never be decided, first off. But if we're looking at stats, like mm-hmm. hard, cold hard facts, mm-hmm. record sales, concert attendance, longevity, whatever, Merle Haggard. Right. I mean, As Cody said, triple threat. Boom. He had it all. He did. I mean. And he sang Silver Wings. And he, <laughs> I, I I just, I love that Silver man. He Wings. That's yeah. A, that's a, it, yeah. He's like so... Not that I don't love the others. No offense to you know to the to the yeah, to yeah. the boys, but for me, he's my link to my dad, and um, I have all my eight tracks from growing up. All my daddy's eight tracks, and That's my awesome. dad's still alive. You know, yeah, Merle yeah. was our thing. Like yeah. that was the thing we did, and uh, I just he was it to me. And you know, he died five days before he was supposed to see, play St. Louis, and I thought it would be the night I would meet him, and I was devastated, and. Uh, have you heard uh, Mo Pitney's song, uh, I Met Merle Haggard Today? I believe I have. Are you familiar with Mo? Yes. That's a good Mo, guy. one of my, um, Mandy and Herb, Herb plays drums for mm. Mo and I'm friends with them. Awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, last year on Merle's anniversary of his death, I was in Nashville at his concert. And this man walked over to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This man walked over to me and he started talking to me and I'm like, you look really familiar. And he goes, my name is Noel. And I literally wow. almost fainted. And I got to go to the after yeah. party and um, oh, I got yeah. to meet his um, widow and his grandkids. It was like God gave me a, like, here's, I know you didn't, yes, class. like, I know you didn't get to meet your hero, babe, <laughs> yeah. but I'm going to put Teresa in front of you and I'm going to put Noel in front of you and, um, you know, there are just gifts like that from the universe that you have to be uh, if present. If you're yes. Attention. Sometimes you got to be present. Yep. It's, it's not everybody's present. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> so. That's awesome. So you're on this tour. You have this album out. I'm always on tour. He F- is on tour a lot. 52 weeks a year. Well, th- in all fairness, this year it's 50 weeks a year because I gave... Greg and the guys last two weeks of the year off, so fifty weeks. Oh, so this you're going to get to go home for Christmas? We'll be home for Christmas. Our last date, other than our residencies that we do every week in Maryland, our last date oh, that's is right. December fifteenth. I think. And t- is it Tess or Tessa? Well, Tessa. Tessa, you call her Tess. Yeah. Um, wow, that'll be great for her to have you home for the holidays because oh, that's right. probably rare. Well, I, I, I'm a family guy, man. Right. Uh, we did leave on Thanksgiving. Okay. Uh, but uh, and and I do miss birthdays and I'll miss our anniversary. I'll be on the road right. for our anniversary. Uh, so there is stuff like that. But uh, the big, like Christmas and yes, you know, because because we're going so long, I, I try to be there right. As I can for right, the, biggies. For the biggies. I always tell people. I always tell my daughter and my friends, I love rock and roll, and I hang out with the rock stars, but I always come home to the rock stars that matter. That's it. You know, because... Yeah, what a great you, saying. You know, you never... I always say to my husband, like, I love you. What I know I hang out saying. with guys, but I always come home to the rock star that matters, That's you right. know? And, um... Because I have a blessed life. I have nothing to complain about. And, uh... Nice guy, John? Nice nice white guy, Bob. Bob, I'm sorry. Nice I'm white guy, Bob. Bob. It could be John. That's nice his brother. Guy. <laughs> nice white guy, Bob. Uh... <laughs> You're awesome, bro. Thank he you. is really awesome. So, so the album's out. You're touring. Mm-hmm. Can you tell the people where they can um, get the album and all your social media sites real quick? I sure will. Uh, any joshmorningstar.com for physical stuff. Okay. Uh, and while you're there, why not pick up a t-shirt? Or, or a, a hat, hoodie. Or a hoodie. Or a koozie. Or a sticker. Or a button. They're, or an they're eight by cool. ten, or a show post. There's lots of stuff there. Or any of the other million things I can find to sell you, including for the holiday season. Handwritten, Handwritten lyrics. lyrics. Over at joshmorningstar.com. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twitter's at joshmorningstar. Uh, Instagram's at joshmorningstar. If you type my name in fucking Google, you. You Google him, you'll find me. him. And digitally, oh, you're. Yes. Wherever you get it, please don't stream it. Don't please. stream it. Buy the music. Buy the CD. Have the physical copy. Get your stuff signed, kids. I got four kids, man. I got four kids. You got, he's got to eat. I, shit, book <sighs> me, man. I, I get the scraps, but uh, 
I don't get the scratch. Buy the merch. That's Go key. to the show. Yes. Pay the fee. Don't be on the guest list. You oh. know what? Nothing else. Come to the show. Come please. to the show Come so you know. Show. Whoo, tip the band. That's right. Someone's sending me a shirt that says tip the band. What I got a, a text shirt. the other day. I was like, yes. What a great shirt. I'll be wearing it every day. Today I'm representing Cody. You great know. guy to represent. Well, you know, why wouldn't I? Great guy. Well, I just have to say that I'm inspired to be a better human because of you. Well, that's the greatest gift you can give someone. I'm serious. And that, I hope you know that that's not something I take lightly. And I just thank you. Thank you. Thanks for making great music. Thanks for saving yourself. Because there's a gift you have to give. And I'm really happy that you're here today to talk to me. Well, I'm really happy to be here talking to you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, we're here in Rivington. We have a show to do. I say we like yeah. I somehow have some ownership. Hey, um, so I my place. <laughs> right, they, honey, they will be screaming running out of the bar. <laughs> you obviously have never been to one of my. <laughs> 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 so I'm Cheryl Swift, Dutch of Rock and Roll. This is Josh Morningstar. Thank you guys so much, and thank you. And we wish you all peace, love, and rock and roll. That's right.